welcome. Welcome to our Manifesting with the New Moon with Sarah Wilder, who no doubt will be joining us in a moment. Here she is. All right. Hey, Dave. How are you going? I'm good. How are you? Oh, my God. We're so... Guys, we didn't plan this. Oh. <laughs> we are kind of... Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Rebecca. We are twins. Wow. Oh, my God. It's so funny. <laughs> no wonder sometimes when I call you my sister, people actually think I mean it literally. Yeah, no, really. So, um, which is awesome. <laughs> Which is awesome, but this is so funny. Okay, guys, I promise you, we did not color code. I reckon it plan. worked perfectly. Oh uh, yeah, it's awesome, awesome, <laughs> cool. Well, I reckon that we can pretty much. Hey, guys, you can Hi. see. I can see so many of you here. And um, is everything sounding and looking good? Please let us know. Yeah, can you hear can me? I, or do you need headset? I My can. Going crazy in the background. I can hear you perfect. Cool. I've just, um, yeah, um, I'm sure. So I'm sure that everyone else can. Yeah. So, all good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So welcome, guys. Tonight is really going to be um, Sarah's really going to take the lead tonight because this is totally her area of expertise and someone that I go to as um, for all this stuff. So how cool is it that we get to do this together? Um, <laughs> yeah. So along the way, so Sarah will really take the reins and along the way I'll sort of share, um, you know, different things about the oils and the rituals and things that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, Sarah's really going to take the reins with this. Um, so what, so you've made some, so first of all, Sarah, do you want to, for people who are watching who maybe aren't super familiar with you and what you do, could you just fill us in? Yeah. Um, my business is called the fifth element life. And, um, over the years I started working with creating, um, sort of intentional jewelry. So you might see that Yvette and I are wearing some of it mm. right now. Um, so I work a lot with mandalas. And the rings. Symbol, yeah, and the rings. They symbolize certain meanings to people. So um, similar to how we would work with uh, essential oils in aromatic anchoring, it's a similar kind of thing, um, having a physical item that reminds you of a certain feeling or something that you want to manifest. So, um, yeah, I've been creating those for... Um, four years now and alongside some other printed products with my artwork. So um, Oracle card deck using animals, uh, spirit energy, as well as a moon calendar, which I've done now for three years. Um, so this is this baby. So some of you might be familiar with this also. Um, this is this year's one. So basically I am not an astrologer, but I really like to live um, and feel intuitively with the moon and its cycles. Um, basically because as women, we are naturally cyclical beings. Um, even you think of your, um, your own moon cycle, your own uh, menstrual cycle is a 28 day cycle and the same with the actual moon as well. So we are intrinsically linked to the moon and her energy, um, which is why I think working, um, with, essential oils and ritual through um, and following the moon energy really allows you to tap into your own um, creative flow and your own cyclical energy as well, um, which is something I've been doing, you know, more recently as I've started working more and more with essential oils um, and integrating it not only into, so, you know, my artwork. Um, so this is, for example, um, this month's moon mapped, uh, moon phases mapped out. So what I'd like to do now is, and that's what I'm going to kind of work, walk you guys through in this workshop is there's four key moon cycles that I like to work with. So it's usually like one a week and it kind of drifts in and out from, you know, a day or two. Thank you. Um, you know, before and after that actual cycle or phase hits. 
Um, and so you can kind of feel the ebbs and the flows of that energy as you move through each week. Um, so the ones that we're going to work with today are the new moon because that is hitting us pretty much now slash tomorrow. Um, and a new moon symbolizes a new beginning and setting new intentions. So I thought this workshop would be a really beautiful way for us to anchor into uh, working towards manifesting something new and working towards something um, new for this next cycle, for this next 28 day cycle. And the really cool thing, I didn't, I swear I didn't time it this way, but the cool thing about um, this new moon is that it's in Aries, and Aries is the very first zodiac sign um, in that in that in the twelve calendar. So it basically is like an astrology New Year energy. Um, and so Aries is a sign. It's kind of like if you know if you're familiar with tarot, the full card. So it's kind of like this um, young boy energy on this new frontier, looking over the cliffs, about to embark on a new adventure. So that is kind of like the energy of what we're about to tap into in the next few days is feeling like we're about to take some kind of crazy leap of faith and we may have been feeling a pull towards working towards something that feels really new and exciting to us that we haven't actually explored yet. And so you may kind of already know what that is. It might take a bit more digging over the next few days to work on that personally. Um, I know for me, it's I'm um, working towards a great rank within doTERRA I'm going to try and really give it my all this month and really um yeah just work so so much with my team and my community um into integrating essential oils more into my life and sharing that with everybody um and I know you're having a similar experience too a bit with just taking a big leap of faith this month <laughs> um in a lot of ways yeah. Yeah, and, you know, it's kind of, you can kind of feel that crescendo now up until this point, like it's been bubbling up and it's just like, you just have to do it. This is the time to take the action. Um, and that's sort of going to be what we dive into in the next week when we come into the, the first quarter of this, um, of this cycle is the action room. Um, so what I really want to do with us right now, if you guys all have um, a pen and paper, I would love for you to take a couple of minutes to work with me on the first phase of the moon, um, which is representing setting intentions and new beginnings. Um, so this might be to do with health. It might be to do with career, love, life, home life, whatever you feel like you want to really focus on and anchor into this month. Um, I want you to kind of percolate with that feeling now. And then when we want to sort of work through this process, this channeling of what we want to work, work on and set our intention by just writing it out now, is I want you to um, call on some of your favorite essential oils for this particular exercise. So um, a lot of you may have, you may be new to essential oils and that's totally cool. You may not have any on hand. So please don't worry if you don't. Um, because you can still do this process regardless. But if you guys do have access to your essential oils on you right now, lavender, which you will have in your home essentials kit, um, is the oil of communication. So what we want to do is basically clearly communicate with ourselves right now what our intention is for this next month. What do we really want to focus on? And I know you can kind of get overwhelmed with a million different things, but I really want you to take a moment and you know, connect with the with that oil. So you can either pop it in your diffuser, you can just smell it straight from the bottle, or you can pop a little bit in your hands and rub it together and kind of breathe it in. Um, okay, so just feel that kind of calm you down, get you centered, and open up that kind of um, the throat chakra. That's where it goes. And so that's going to allow you to communicate with your own desires and intentions right now. So what do you want to focus on? Please write for about a minute or two right now, what is it, an area of focus you really want to tap into and focus on this, you know, this week, this month, whatever the, you know, however big this kind of thing is going to be. Um, within two weeks, something will have become clear 
and um, being fully realized. So it's, you know, maybe planting the seed for something bigger in the future, but right now we're just going to break it down into sort of like a monthly process of how we move through um, working towards manifesting this, this particular intention. If you don't have lavender, frankincense can also be a good anchor for this, the oil of truth. So just cutting away all the bullshit um, and getting really clear on what you want and being really honest with yourself in that process as well. Even your hair's lavender, Benny. <laughs> you should do lavender next. So if a few of you can just comment once you're done and I'll kind of know, be able to gauge where you are in this process. Hey Carla. Thanks Ben. Thank you, Casey. Hey, Erica. Awesome. Hey, hey. So for the latecomers who's just joined in, hi, um, we're just setting our intention for the new moon. So I want you to anchor into your lavender oil um, and have a little moment in journaling through an intention for the month ahead, for the next 28 day cycle. And then we're going to work through which oils we're going to um, use for each of the key phases throughout those 28 days. Thanks, ladies. Okay, and feel free to share any of your intentions if they're not too private. Um, if you want to declare it, feel free to pop it in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys are all working on. Like I said, mine is, um, yeah, putting my doTERRA hat on um, and really focusing on building my team this month. Um, and, yeah, just getting really clear on um, this whole next chapter. I feel like there's a whole new chapter awaiting a lot of us. Um, and it definitely does feel like the first few months of this year have completely flown. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Perfect time to be looking for work. Brand new sort of start. Yep. Self-love for sure. So yeah, the last three months have been pretty crazy. They've flown by. I can't believe it's like the middle of April already. What is life? Um, so it's kind of felt like a whirlwind for a lot of us, but you do feel like a lot has been shared in that process. We're getting a lot more efficient at shedding a lot of the crap that we've been carrying, um, which means massive growth periods for a lot of us, lots of like energetic upgrades, cutting away a lot of crap. Yeah, and, st and prioritizing. There's been so much, um, yeah, just getting, dripping everything back really and realizing what's important to us. Um, because, you know, once upon a time we did take on a lot of things and, and want to um, be involved in a lot of different things that, you know, are exciting in the world. But when you really truly um, do tap into what you do want, it becomes a lot clearer even now when once you kind of get your ego aside and go, actually, what does my day really want to look like? What does my week want to look like? What does my year want to look like? And um, so what we can do now is sort of, on top of having that intention that we've just, um, yeah, huge few months. I feel good for it, though. Um, it's just, yeah, it just flew, hey. Um, I really want us to now think of what we want an abundance of this month. So 
Um, you know, we're saying we want to prioritize self care or look for work. So what is the feeling that those things give you? I really want you to anchor into that. And then that's the abundance of whatever that feeling is that we want to um, introduce into our world. So when we're thinking of abundance, we can think of citrus um, oils. So a lot of the time we can get really clear and really uplifted um, when we call on, for example, wild orange, if you have wild orange, um, that's the oil of abundance. Uh, lemon is clarity, is that what it's for? Um, or focus, sorry. Yep, so now I want you to kind of really focus in on what, um, yeah, what, how we want to feel for this month. Um, so it might be um, having more clarity, it might be feeling more aligned, it might feel like being organized, whatever it is. Um, I really want you to take some time now to work out what those key um, word anchors are going to be for you. They will come in handy when you are um, really trying to, when you do start to get outside of your little vortex that you're creating here. So you're getting really clear right now, but there will be moments in each day where you will stray from that and you will get dis get distracted and it'll be a bit of a, you know, the ebbs and flows of, of the day. You know, you can kind of get overwhelmed and then scattered and then everything falls to shit and then you come back into center and you go, right, come on, get your stuff together. Um, so tapping back into those word anchors as well as an oil to anchor into those words too is a really cool way of just getting back into sync and getting back into the flow of manifesting this. Um, so moving forward, so the next few days you may, and, and generally speaking, a new moon, um, the vibe of a new moon is always quite, um, it's a yin kind of feeling. So it's very kind of insular, very um, kind of want to retreat. You want to spend time alone. You want to really regroup and just um, spend some time like gathering your thoughts and getting clear what, with what's happening. So, um, you know, you'll have lower energy and that's when we do call on oils like um, lavender and calming, more calming blends. So new moon, you can always think of, um, you know, for example, when you're menstruating the, the first day of your, you know, once you start bleeding. So it's always that kind of, kind of feel exhausted and you just want to rest and Netflix and eat and whatever and just be really comfortable and and chill yeah same for me um so you don't want to be out doing action crazy like you want to really work with the flow of the month um I think in our kind of patriarchal system we've been taught to do the nine to five hustle 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 stuff and every day kind of looks the same in that system and that works really well um, in general for more masculine energy people. However, when we really tap into our feminine flow energy and that's our kind of natural disposition, we are very cyclical. So there will be days where we will not want to talk to anyone and there will be days where we just want to go out in the world and, and, and hang out with our mates and, you know, the last thing you want to do is be alone. So I really want us to start to honour that in ourselves because the system that we've been raised into doesn't work well for our health. Um, and that's why we can feel overwhelmed and really out of balance. So thank you. Happy new moon. Um, so we basically want to really honor how we feel more. And particularly when you are in a new moon phase, um, block of a few days, which is exactly where we are now, you will be in that kind of, um, yeah, in that little cocoon basically. Um, so don't, don't worry if the next few days you feel like that and please just allow yourself to be in that. Um, don't try and push anything that isn't supposed to be happening. Allow it to just get into the flow. You know, flow doesn't mean just like allowing things, to people to take you where you have to go. It's you feeling like tapping into how you feel and honoring your own inner flow. So I'm not going to go out and hustle hard when all I want to do is um, or, you know, work, work really hard to the point of exhaustion when the next day I know if I just got that good night's sleep, I would be feeling a lot better and I'd just do that in a couple of hours, okay? Hey, Karen. Um, so that's how we'll be in the next few days. Then we'll move into the next um, the phase, which is the first quarter moon. So that's when things really start to amp up a bit and that's when you start feeling really energised um, and it's, I call it the action moon. That's when we take action. That's when we first come across our first set of challenges. Um, but it's also when we feel really fired up, passionate, creative. So that's going to be, um, I've just got the dates 
so the, on the 22nd of April. So in, in a week's time, 22nd of April, that's when we'll be at our peak um, in the zone kind of feeling. So we'll be like ready to hustle, we'll be ready to take on the world. And that, um, that is a great time to then tap into some other oils that support you through that time too. So if you are um, wanting to get super motivated and you know, do a whole lot of, of work, batching you know, lots of work and creating things or whatever it is that you're focusing on, you can call on some more uplifting oils. So that's when you call on things like lemon, any citrus really, lemon, lime, wild orange, um, peppermint is another great one too. So that's obviously, you know, you smell peppermint, it's refreshing. It's kind of like that, you know, little slap in the face, like, come on. So if you start to get distracted when you're in that high energy, because you can, you can kind of ping, 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 and you can't focus, those are the oils that you'd call on during those times. Oh. Oh. You got so sending you, love. yeah, sending you big love, Caitlin. Yeah. You got this, babe. Yeah. So, so that will be um, the oils that we can anchor into. So, um, so lemon and peppermint from the Home Essentials kit. Um, and then obviously any kind of citrusy um, blends that you have. If you have the emotional um, kits, the, I think it's, what is it? Chia and, what's the other one? Someone can throw it in the comments. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Um, there's some really like citrusy kind of uplifting blends. So, um, Cool. So that's next week. And there's actually a printout that you've in this group. So once you, um, once this class is finished, there's Citrus Bliss. Thank you, Erica. That's the one. I love that one. Um, there's actually a, a printout image that I've created for you guys. So if you really want, because I mean, it's a lot to remember, right? And if you aren't fully attuned to these um, moon cycles, um, this is a really easy prompt. It's basically what I'm saying right now in a little page. So print it out, keep it on, you know, on the box of your oils or in your kitchen or on your, in your desk in your office. And you can just check the date and go, oh yeah, I'm feeling like um, this is that time, this is that period. And just have those oils on your desk during the day so that you know they're the ones that you're gonna diffuse. They're the ones that you can, um, you know, you can create little um, roller blends for, for that week or whatever. And these oils you can actually use every month. So it's not just like we're just going to do it now. These are the ones that you can use cyclically through, throughout the year. Um, then we'll move, then we move into the full moon. So we all know, um, you know most people kind of are attuned to the full moon. That's sort of the one that gets the most recognition on social media that we talk about the most and we feel most affected by. Um, and that's obviously because, you know, um, it's, it's, everything's heightened. Everything becomes fully realized at that time. So this is when you might start to see um, some of the things of your, some of your intentions either feel like you have to let go of some things. So that's a, the time of cleansing through that energy. Um, but it's also realization. So things will become very clear to you what is out of alignment, what is feeling really good, and you hit the, you know, you, fully in the flow of that thing and it's fully manifesting. Um, so there will be signs, you know, leading up to that time. And then the full moon is kind of when, yeah, everybody's senses are heightened. Uh, women in particular feel very affected by it. So that's when, you know, you get called a lunatic because you are, you are affected by the moon. So that's when people can feel um, quite scatty, but very high energy. And that can also come out and manifest in negative ways. If you aren't in control of your own energy source and your own emotions, that's when you can kind of snap at people. You can kind of feel like out of alignment very quickly and affected by the outside world. So again, during those times, instead of looking at and being in reaction mode to things, it's really about harnessing that power and using that for good, basically. So Maybe that's when you go for a big, you know, you, you spend a whole day going out and exercising or, or treating yourself really beautifully, doing cleanses, having baths, whatever you feel drawn to at the time, really honouring that. And it's a really big time for self-care as well. Um, your body responds really well to that cleansing kind of um, full moon energy. So you put your crystals out. That's when everything kind of gets fully realigned. Um, and so you just think 
when you anchor into when I refer back to the menstrual cycle, obviously that's that would be the time when you would be ovulating. So that's when you're releasing your creations, right? So that's when things that you're creating now may be let go. You may have fully realized it or it might take a turn somewhere else and it's you allowing just sort of to um, let go of, of expectations, let go of what you thought it would look like um, and just tapping more into where you need to go next. So oils to work with on the full moon. If you are affected by other people's energies, especially at the same time, so if you obviously in a household with a lot of people, we kind of all can be affected in different ways. So there's oils, for example, oregano, which is an oil of um, unattachment. So that's kind of like a cord cutting spray. I know you have, um, you know, you use that a lot of it for yeah. energetic cord attachments to other people. So when you take on other people's crap, it's a great way that you can just kind of make a little spritzer of oregano, cut your ties in your aura, in your aura body, and um, also diffuse if you need to. On guard, protection. So really protecting and honouring your energy at that time too because you are in such an open, high energy um, time. On guard can really help you to retain that and not have anyone leak your energy or attach to yours as well. Um, so that's a yeah a protective blend. So yeah. that's also and we already spoke about tea tree. Yeah, oh, and tea tree same again. So that's an oil yeah. of energetic boundaries again. So if you're feeling boundaries are being crossed, if you're um, also crossing other people's boundaries and it's becoming aware of that, um, you can work with those oils as well. Um, but yeah, so in terms of what you're willing to mani- what it, wanting to manifest, things will become clear. You will become everything will be heightened, and you will kind of fully realize something at that point. Um, and that's when we then begin to shift out of there. Um, and so obviously you peak in energy, and then it comes down with a trough again. So that comes to the third quarter moon. So within a, in a week cycle, you'll get back down to that phase, and then. Um, that's, I call it the reflection moon. So that's a really beautiful time to, um, it's kind of like like tying all the loose ends, okay? So you'll feel kind of like, you know, your energy's really slowing down. You'll start to feel kind of in that retreat mode again for the, for the new moon kind of vibe. Um, but you'll also, it's where you do your forgiveness work. It's where you let go more. It's where you fine tune things. So um, if things aren't going to plan, you're kind of tweaking things to, to steer them back in the direction that you're willing, you're wanting them to go. Um, and so oils that we work with then are more um, kind of feminine yin type of, um, so your florals. So again, you can call on lavender. Um, you can also call on then, I've got easy air, um, oil of the breath. So you may feel overwhelmed after having gone through that high energy thing and then you'll come down to this kind of lower vibe and you'll feel like, wow, I've got all this stuff to do in this, you know, in this, in this week and I'm not feeling it. I was so much more productive last week. This week feels like way less like I'm getting anything done. Um, so that's clearing your mind, getting rid of all that junk in your mind and just regrouping and getting more in touch with your own breath. So that's where you just slow down and reconnect with your center. Is that Jazzy? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and also digestion, which I thought was a cool one because it's the oil of digestion, right? So that's also processing things, processing things you've just realized, things that you're tweaking and still fully coming through that cycle of manifestation. You're still you're still working through that process. So digesting all this new information that you've just found and that you've gathered and you're trying to pick, you know, the, the pathways. And so that sort of helps too. Um, so, you know, you can put it on your belly. You can, um, I don't know, does anyone diffuse digestion? I'm not sure. I'm sure you could. Um, a little spritzer of it. Yeah, I'm sure you could. I yeah. never have, but I yeah. Yeah, I Please let us know in the comments if you have. Yeah. Sarah and I were talking today as well about wondering if anyone has diffused ice blue. Because I diffuse, we'll talk about that in a sec, but mm. um, yeah, I'll, we'll wait till we get to ice blue and then I'll, yeah. Um, and then obviously, yeah, so the more floral, so um, jasmine, juniper berry, lang lang, 
So just to be more, um, less attached to things, more playful and just sort of um, ease into, into what you've created and just keep enjoying the process because that's what this is all about. It's never about getting to an end goal and that solving all the problems, right? It's always about this process that we're discussing, this full cycle and enjoying every part of that and embracing every part of that. Um, I know, you know, just speaking for my own self, Wintergreen. <laughs> yeah, I hate wintergreen. I'm still working on it. What is it? Wintergreen is the oil of, what is it again? Wintergreen is the oil of surrender. Let's and see. at first, at oh, first yeah. was pretty much one of my least favorites. And now is, I would say, top five favorite oils. Wow. I would say in my top five favorite oils. And I always, like, at least once a day, diffuse mm. wintergreen with Ylang Lang together and um at least once a day for an hour or two it always at some point of the day that's why you tune into the fairies that's such a fairy time. like combo. yeah oh my gosh <laughs> the playful totally. surrender hello totally but guys i reckon that if you try um diffusing wintergreen and your lang lang or something like something else with it <laughs> I know Tara likes to put wild orange um, mm. with it, but yeah, like, I don't know, with, you, with, with wintergreen, as soon as you find this, yeah, it just... Um, I haven't even bought it on its own yet because I'm just not sure what it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I highly encourage yeah. you guys to really just try. Um, I just find wintergreen, she just chills me out. Mm. And there's something in faith, like she gives mm. me just the faith in like everything's going to be okay. I can let go of the control freakness. Interesting. Um, and everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be wonder okay. What, because I always think this, like I have a really earth heavy like birth chart in astrology. So I'm already a quite a grounded person. So maybe I just don't connect with it because I don't need that like, bringing me back down to earth vibe because I feel like I'm always here. <laughs> it's maybe it's le like the myrrh is probably one of the ones that is more the ground. It's more, I don't know, like it's, I, I feel like it's more of a spiritual faith than a mm -hmm. grounding faith, but it's more just the like, it's okay. I'm supported. I'm yeah. supported by yeah. so much that, I can't even fathom and particularly yeah. in my oils business where I am so supported um, with, by the fairies and by the oils themselves. Like mm. it isn't all about me. It isn't like, you know, I can try to like control, 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 but the reality is that the oils have their own purpose to fulfill. Yeah. Like they've got their own homes and hands and hearts to get into. Exactly. So yes, I need to take the action but I can also get to a point for a couple of hours a day. That's usually when the wintergreen comes out. Mm. That's usually when, when I can just go, you know what? Okay. I've been working all day on my oils business and I've taken so much action. Now it's time for me to just surrender and know yeah. that these oils are going to get into all the homes that need them. I've done my mm. work for the day. I've taken yeah. my action for the day. Mm. And wintergreen kind of allows me to go into that place of like, Oh yes, it's okay. I can have faith that these oils it's are going to do like what they're going to do. To, it, it helps you to shut the door on, on it and just let it. Yeah, be yeah, its own totally, mm. totally. Yeah. And you can think like it makes sense why it's pretty much the key ingredient in Ice Blue, our muscle blend, mm -hmm. because it really is that releasing the tension, releasing, mm. releasing just the softening, the um, yeah. So really um anyway yeah. just guys i i i swear just give wintergreen a go particularly yeah. on her I think own if I blend like it with, with something yeah yeah when you start to find but it did take me about six months mm. it did take me about six months but just like oregano for the first however many months i was like i'm never gonna use this yeah. that was a waste why did i get that one maybe i can swap it with someone else yeah um and then now I just wouldn't mm -hmm. be without. Yeah. I actually have a spare wintergreen just in case my one runs out and I won't want to have to wait. 
like wow. a few days to be able to, that's how much there's only a few oils that I have spares that I keep spares Backups. on hand yeah um just in case or just in case you know something happened to a bottle and winter yeah. is one of them Ooh. so guys you never know you yeah. never know right. challenge accepted and do you know that um she's pink when you pour her out oh no because I don't she's know pink it. yeah oh. she's pink really okay, subtle pink such a fairy oil. <laughs> yes, Mia, totally. what, Mia, what do you diffuse wintergreen with? I'd love to know. Or maybe just on its own, you might. Anyway. <laughs> cool. Sorry to hijack for my love no, of wintergreen. Cool. <laughs> cool. um, yeah, so I don't know. I My next like little project to take this even to the next level is to create little um, blends of each of these kind of oils for each week and, and kind of rotate them each month and see if that really does help me anchor into those energies and be more aware of them. Um, because I think you can kind of obviously get distracted by the day-to-day -day routine, which is all very similar each day for most people. But then your feelings aren't ever the same every day. Um, so it would be an interesting experiment to anchor in, aromatically anchor in, into that moon phase energy um, and just see if it really, um, it would surely just promote the flow and, and remind you of what's going on in the universe outside of your shit, you know? There's, there's the conscious, you know, the collective conscious is all in that kind of really, um, you know, insular time in the next few days so maybe everyone's kind of not wanting to jump on calls and um, go and have meetups and you know maybe their kids are just wanting to stay in bed tomorrow on public holiday instead of go out to you know so really allowing um, having that awareness that if what you're feeling other people feel are, are feeling as well it's a it's a community thing um, it's we're never alone in in yeah how we feel each day um, Obviously, there's circumstances that affect those things, but collectively, we're all kind of pretty much in flow. And I know that um, just by since I've been doing my moon readings for the last few years, every time I share what I'm feeling, I always get an inbox full of people sharing exactly the same. It's like saying, oh, my God, it's like you're talking to me. We're having a cup of tea and you've just literally told me exactly what I need to hear and, um, and you've reflected to me exactly how I feel and exactly what's come up in my readings or how I've, you know, what I've decided that this moon is about and whatever. So um, I think we're all here together and it's a really beautiful way now um, is to become more conscious about this all going on um, and to honour, you know, our own cyclical nature. And on top of this, then there's your whole, your whole cycle as well, which can conflict with what's going on in the outside world with what's going on with your body. <laughs> so um, there's so much... Yes, you can be really out of whack in a sense or you can be really in sync. I'm really in sync, um, like to the day of what the moon is actually doing, which is really amazing and fascinating in itself. Wow. Um, so um, I know that, that then I'm obviously, I feel that energy in a really like deep sense with what's going on in, you know, with the moon. Um, yeah, so... I think just even having this conversation is cool to kind of plant the seed for everybody to um, just be more aware of what's going on out in, in the world because nothing, mm. you're not alone and we're all sharing very similar experiences right now. Um, you know, it's very, very, very big um, universe out there. And so, um, yeah, so I would really like you guys to work with that intention over the next month. Um, it might be cool to just do a, a follow-up like in the aroma angels group or something and just see how everyone went with their um yeah their their intention setting and, and manifesting and yes. whether that fully was realized or not um and what yeah just see what place you're in in a month because so i feel like you know back in the day it was probably like a full year was you would go through this thing, but now we're condensing it into like little monthly chunks. We, we're changing so much in an entire year as opposed to, um, you know, past generations. We are just like so overloaded with information. We're constantly learning, growing, upgrading to a whole new level. We're a whole new level of human. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, so, you know, it can be it can be daunting being like one of these in this pioneer space of like um, being on a new frontier of, of type of human, essentially. We're all ascending into these like kind of superhumans, really. Um, and so we need support. We need to support ourselves first and foremost through that entire thing because everyone's got their own shit going on. No one's going to hold that space for you. Um, so self-care is obviously the most important thing right now to support you through your energetic upgrades, through what you're trying to um, do in your physical world, what you're trying to do with managing your mental health and your physical health and your emotional health. Um, you all, we all need to be really attuned to it now more so than ever. Mm. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And Sarah, if I can add something in there too, because it's so important what you're saying and um, something definitely that I know from my community and a lot of people watching now or after are already in my community or they've been part of, or they've read my Soulpreneurs book or they've been in the Soulpreneurs community, but um, there are some that haven't and mm -hmm. don't, you know, aren't familiar with what I believe in that when we are people who, whether we're solopreneurs or, you know, it doesn't, you don't necessarily need to be an entrepreneur, but you know, if you are someone, and I'm willing to bet that if you're watching this, you are, if you are someone that, you know, living a soul aligned life is really important it. to you. Yeah. Then, mm -hmm you are very likely evolving at rapid at rapid speed right now and probably have been for some time, for some months, for some years, even for some of you, some decades, mm -hmm. because our souls are evolving so fast nowadays and all of us, all of us. It's not mm -hmm. like a special thing. It's, it's all of us. Our souls are evolving so fast and because they kind of need to for us to make the contribution in the world that the world, that Mother it. Earth and the universe mm -hmm. really needs us to make for, yeah. for the survival of our planet, our everything, uh -huh. you know. Um, I'm not even going to go there right now, but what I do want to just say is that if you are someone that finds that, yes, living a soul-aligned life is really important to me, um, but... I'm finding I'm having to like change all the time and I'm always feeling out of alignment. I, it doesn't make sense. Just last week I felt like I was totally in alignment and now I'm looking around and everything feels a bit off that chances are it's because you've continued to evolve. You've continued to evolve. You've continued to evolve. There's nothing wrong with you. It's actually amazing. And it's something that you should be really proud of that you're so in tune with your soul that you can feel when something's off and you can feel when something's out of alignment it's also a really good sign that you are expanding and growing. As an example, I've been through um, massive expansion in the last six months, um, particularly the last three or four months, and particularly the last two weeks. Particularly the last two weeks, I've rapidly expanded on an energetic level so big to be a vessel and a container for a stretching that's happening with me, with my team, because I'm stretching not just for myself, but for my leaders so that I can hold their, their stretch Visions. as well, which is one of the things that I love to do is to really mm -hmm. help my team rise and expand. And I love doing that. So, you know, it's something I want to be able to expand more so that I can support them expanding. Mm -hmm. um, but then an example of what's happened is just yesterday I was thinking about how I could feel it. I could feel this expansion. I was like, oh, but I could feel it like we're expanding so fast that it is requiring a much like this is just bigger than I ever could have imagined. So I really need to expand so much more and so that I can come back in alignment because all of a sudden now I'm like, oh, shit, I'm like out of alignment again. I just realigned like a couple of weeks ago. And now I'm going to realign again. Your and then I woke safe. up. Yeah. And I woke up um, with a plan to get heaps of work done today. And I woke up having pulled something in my thoracic spine, like, and was pretty much couldn't do anything all day because I've been in so much pain, which I'm still in so much pain now. 
And I've got so much wintergreen rubbed into my back right now to even do the Facebook Live. It's so funny. But it's, it's, you know, my, so my body is trying, is having to catch up. So now I'm going through this readjustment. So my body's trying to go through this readjustment. And before, and uh, I'm just going to have to put up with it until I can go to the Cairo tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, but, I, and it was so funny when I was thinking today, I was like, yes, every time I've gone through a massive expansion in my business or anything, I'm always having these emergency chiropractic appointments you to just physically realign. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. So, um, you know, you might recognize that there might be something in you mm. when you are, um, you know, going through these transformations and these shifts and it might not be your back or it might not be, you know, it might just be something else completely different. Yeah. I know some people, um, people in my team alone who start getting cold symptoms and start getting, you know, it, it's it's mm -hmm. that and it's every time that they are expanding. Upgrading. Um, yeah, it's that it's that upgrading. So mm -hmm. if that sounds like you just know that it's totally it's totally fine and it's actually a really amazing sign that you are you are expanding and you are growing and you are um, so in, you're in tune with your soul, like that your soul and your body are so connected that your soul just kind of stops your body in its tracks mm -hmm. and goes, no, 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 you need time to readjust and realign to where we're going together. Yeah, and, and your, body, your body gives yeah. you messages all the time regarding that. So it's like, where's my block? I might be thinking, oh, everything's okay. And then you get a lower back problem at that time and that could be it you know relating to support what's that emotion what's it linked to so um you know i know for example ne nothing is ever just face value to me i always have to find what's the meaning of that what's this linked to um because everything is connected emotion you know it's, it's emotion is energy in motion um so your feeling and you're manifesting your emotions in your body in a physical way so um, yeah, that will come up for you when you are setting intentions and there will be challenges that will come up um, that will absolutely be like, oh, no, hang on, now you can't, you know, you've rolled your ankle and you can't go and do that, <laughs> or whatever it is that we, your intention was. And it's like this self-sabotage bullshit um, that yeah. happens. And a lot of the time um, you can manifest that just by, your, you know, how you're thinking and, and how you're storing those emotions in your body. So... Um, working with essential oils, doing regular exercise, taking care of yourself, all that stuff is like just basic care 101 for us these days. I don't think um, any of us can survive in this world when we're energetically upgrading so much without all those sacred tools that we mm. are with. I know a lot of us call on these things now. You know, we call on the oils, we call on, um, you know, obviously moon calendars to sink in and, and tap into what's happening out in the universe. We work with Oracle cards. We, you know, you've got crystals and plants in our home because we want to feel nature. We want to still stay in sync with our own natural self. Um, but also know that there's so much spiritual growth going on as well. And they're all anchors. They're all anchors back to staying in control and staying in our little vortex without steering too far away and and finding ourselves like super sick or injured or whatever for too long yeah so true <laughs> i love it and i love that the oils get to support our body soul and mind all at the same time with this really? so for example me using so much ice blue which is mm -hmm. as i said before the main ingredient is um winter green and using ice blue to help support my pain until I get to the chiropractor tomorrow um, that is also then helping with the surrendering into this new alignment, surrendering into this new expansion. Um, so you'll probably find that the same oils that will support that physical, you know, that physical side are supporting exactly that right. emotional, spiritual, all of that. So, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, this has been so good. Does anyone have any last quick questions for Sarah? Um, it's been so, so, so amazing. And was there any last things that you needed to share, Sarah? I don't think so. Um, I just, I think, I just want 
maybe to for everyone to kind of be a bit accountable this month. And I know if you don't do this religiously and you don't have to do it every month, um, but I feel like just with what I said earlier about it being, you know, the first sign of the Zodiac um, calendar, it's kind of like, a, treat it like a new year. So you would set new, new year intentions. Um, but the energy is working in your favor now for, for doing that in April, in the middle of April, which is really cool. So you get to um, revisit that fresh kind of new frontier kind of energy and you get to tap into that again, um, where, you know, I know a lot of people kind of get to the middle of the year and go, I didn't, I'm nowhere near anything that I thought I would be doing. And I still haven't even like tackled all those goals that I had or the desires or that, you know, planned anything that I wanted to plan. And I'm going to have to cram it into the last six months of the year. Really let go of all that shit. Cause it's not true. There'll always be stuff that comes up every single month. Who you were in January is definitely not who you are now. <laughs> so don't worry about that. <laughs> And let's just focus in much smaller little capsules now because like Yvette two weeks ago was a different event. Every single moment you are someone different. We are not static. We are always moving. We are always expanding. And so if we get into that cycle of expansion and of working kind of like project management, really, what are we really wanting to focus in on this month? And if you do that for 12 months, 12 things got really nailed and focused on and got your attention mm. and they could be that you know you could pretty much spread it across all aspects of your life that got a good look in and got your time and energy and your um your attention through a month of that year and you look back after those 12 months and go holy shit i really did i focused on my health i focused on my work i focused on my home life on my relationships you really get to um, tune into where you're at each month and, and pick something new that you really want to work on. We're not going to always work on our business every every month. It might be, you know, you know that you just smashed last month and so this, this month might be a completely different focus. It might be, okay, I need to realign and regroup with some of the relationships I kind of pushed to the side a bit and I didn't get to see those people and I didn't get to spend time with my family and that's the focus that, you know, the following month. Um, yeah, exactly, Angelique. So, yeah, new moon in Aries it is. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I just want you guys to kind of set yourself this little mini project for the month. I don't think it's too unrealistic of me to say to do this. I think, you know, if you follow that little printout, it's just one thing you've got to look at a week and kind of go, right, this is, you know, I do feel this flow and, and I am in this flow of this, you know, action week and what am I going to do to take action and how is it going to help me manifest this intention that I've set tonight? And then how can I let go of things, you know, the following week at the full moon, you will know when it's the full moon because everyone talks about it on social media. So you can't, well, you can just look out in the sky. <laughs> so um, tune in with her, go and look out and, and sit with her and soak in her glory. She's so beautiful. And I don't think we do that enough. Um, and when you do moon bathe and just spend some time with her, it gives you, it's basically like meditation, right? It gives you a moment of peace and you get to recenter and just focus on you and being. And I think that's super important to not be doing all the time and to spend time being a being. So um, she is awesome. And she's here to help us and we, she's calling us to tune in to what she's helping us with. Um, so yeah, if we could all just really focus on this project for the next month, this thing we want to manifest, the thing we want to focus on, um, and use our oils, use our oils more for this particular, like obviously use it for all the other ways you're using it, but also this is a new way you can work with it. And I just challenge you to do that, um, to do it more ritually, you know, uh, you know, diffuse these oils for the next few days that are going to support you taking action, staying focused, or are going to support you in your cocoon mode when you just want to digest everything and focus and make decisions and get really clear on what you want. And then, uh, and, you know, use them to support that each, each step. So, um, yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you so, so much, Sarah. Guys, um, just make sure that you're using your oils. And if you don't yet have your oils, please reach out right now to the Aroma Angel who invited you into this group or sent you this video. And we would love, love, love to hook you up and have you join our Aroma Angel family and 
do uh, and get access to so much more yeah. of this, these trainings and so much, yeah. so much fun stuff coming out. We've got heaps more coming. Sarah and I will definitely do another class like this, maybe even on the full moon. That could be really yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thanks, and guys. all the best, Caitlin, for your surgery as well. Yeah, and, good. yeah, yeah. See you guys. Thanks, thank Sarah. You. Yeah.